What's up everybody? So today I thought I would take you along with me as we purchase two new houses. These are both going to be flips and I'm going to kind of walk you through the process. I'm not going to show you everything because I actually want to do a video for just that. But what I am going to show you is getting the checks out, going to the lawyers, and then actually going to the houses for the first time and inspecting them. And I think you guys will enjoy it. So let's go. All right, so this is subtle flex here. But have you ever tried to write out any type of six digit number on a check? It's really impossible on the line. So writing out $139,882 all in one line is incredibly difficult. All right, so we just got the two checks out of the bank. The number I told you earlier was actually the total of two house purchases. So one of the houses is called Empire, and that was for $66,159, and the other one was for Rustling, and that was for $73,723. So now what we do is we take both of these checks over to our lawyer's office, which is thankfully only one block away from the bank. I will go up there, we'll close these houses out, then we'll get the locks changed out, and I'm gonna walk you guys through them. I haven't actually seen either one of these houses. We bought them both during the COVID lockdown. My part partner obviously walked through them. We didn't just buy them blind, but my partner who does the construction, he walked through them, put a budget together, and then we voted on them. And we agreed both of them were good purchases. And we actually found both of them on the MLS. So don't believe what they tell you. You can still find good houses on the MLS. You just have to get lucky. I'm your camera lady today. So I'll probably be mostly behind the camera, but I'll try to come out and say hi. Get off my vlog. By the way, you should follow me at Rihanna Ferriel on my channel because... Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> All right, for some reason, the lawyer's office is locked, but thankfully I have a key to this building, so I'm just going to go in there and hope somebody's home. Okay, we are on the oldest elevator known to man, but I wanted to let you know that I make us wear masks everywhere because safety first. This elevator was put in in 1911. It says it right there. Oh, look. Uh, for the tug, because we still have to draw on them. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I was just like, well, you well, can't promise you a lot need this much. <laughs> and you find the buyer. I mean, do you have any idea how much you've got time? Like, okay, I want to show you guys the view. So how's the business? Good? Business is good. Um, we put a, we put 11 houses in contract through that mess. So, oh, that's, so, good. Uh, yeah. that's good. And we've got the boots on the hood. And these are pretty good. These are... So one of our favorite things to do when we do closings at Bob's office is we come up to the penthouse and enjoy the view for a second. Got a snack, shout out Sour Strips, and it'll make John play a game with me really fast because we have a 25 minute drive to the first house. Hey, you do this, you gotta see who can eat it faster without their hands. Tell me one. Ready? Go. I won. Ah. There's house number one. I want to tell you guys my first impressions as a not real estate professional before he shows you the actual house. So it is across from a cemetery. And I don't know about you, but I don't think anybody wants to live across from a cemetery. But John says people will live here, so yes, I'm wrong. Okay, we're over here at the first house. I'm gonna walk you guys through today. This is Empire. Uh, I'm not gonna give you guys the full address so you guys don't come rob us and rob all our tools. In case you were wondering what John acts like when he messes up, that's exactly what it is. My turn. It's so much better when I come with you to vlog, isn't it? <laughs> no, you Comment are below if you think that I annoying. should help him vlog. And then if you agree with me, just do hashtag annoying. Cue serious, John. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're over here at the first house I'm gonna walk you guys through today. This is Empire. We're in the city of Cross Lanes. It's a pretty good city. A lot of people like to live here. It's a little bit infamous for its traffic, but other than that, 
Uh, it has seen an increase in population over the recent years. But anyway, we think we're in a good neighborhood and this house should sell quickly when finished. It's about 3,000 square feet. It's got a two car garage and a nice yard to it. The purchase price on this was 66,000 as you guys saw. The rehab amount is gonna be 55,000 and we hope to sell it for around 165,000. So those should be pretty good margins. All right, now let me walk you guys through it. All right, so I have not been in this house. In fact, I told you guys I haven't seen this house until today. Only thing I've done was open the door. So let's see what we're getting into. All right, so we can already see it's a mid-entry split level house. Very popular here in West Virginia, or at least in Charleston. And it comes up to this living room. So I can already see that the carpet's gonna need replaced. It's gonna need new windows. It's gonna need paint. The ceilings are in good condition. The walls are in good condition, but it's gonna need paint throughout. It's gonna need Everything. Oh, it's going to need everything. No, I don't think this house will need everything. I think the roof was actually in good condition. Uh, so carpet through here as well. Oh, the kitchen's rough. It's going to need everything. Really it will. This kitchen will need everything. These cabinets are not salvageable. They're too old. Um, if this was just going to be a rental, maybe you could paint them. But this is going to be a flip. So all this will get torn out of here. This fridge looked like it was thrown down a mountain. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> Never open the fridge. If you're new to watching this and you go into a house, never, don't do it. No, <laughs> never open the fridge. It's the worst smell ever if it's been sitting, if there's no electricity. Uh, the dishwasher's pretty good, actually. Just kidding. All right, nothing in here. So we keep going. We're just missing floor in here for no good reason. Usually that's a sign of pets and the pets have damaged the floor. Uh, I do see some water damage. You see the discoloration difference right here? That usually means it was probably water damage. And it looks like the dogs or whatever peed on this as well. All that's wrong. So that will need sub floor repair and all the way through the hallway. This is gonna be an expensive carpet job if we stick with carpet. So I haven't seen Steve's plans on this either. Again, I know we're putting $55,000 into this house, so it's gonna be a fair amount of work. I already know that. So it looks like one, two, three bedrooms. We're actually in bedroom number three, which seems to be it's gonna be the master bedroom. You got no electricity, so hold on, I'm gonna turn my light on for you. So it looks like it will hold a stand-up shower. <laughs> nice faucet. Look at this faucet. It's the Rainhead faucet, but absolutely no uh, shower Try stall. stand under it. You know I can never do it. <laughs> <laughs> so it does have a master, it just needs the toilet and the actual shower itself, and then it'll be a master. It just needs everything that you need in a bathroom. <laughs> That's not true, it's in a sink right there. <laughs> You're the worst house flipper ever. You're flashing that light at everybody. Sorry. Stop following me. <laughs> let's look at that. Oh, let's look at this bathroom. All right, so then in here, uh, it's another bathroom. And it's uh, gross. Not another fly trap. Look. Oh, no. But anyway. Poor little flies. This shower is, act I mean, this, this tub base is actually in good condition. The surround, everything's in good condition. So we probably won't do anything with that. Obviously, we're going to put actual drywall up and, and finish it out. All right, let's go check out the back deck area in the yard, which seems to be the nicest part of this house so far. This is nice. Oh, oh wow. Look at that yard. You want me to sell the house really fast here? Ready? Ready? You want to sell it? Yeah. Imagine yourself out here relaxing with a morning cup of coffee. Scrolling through your social media at the frugal investor on Instagram looking at your beautiful view Dogs running kids playing birds tweeting. No one cares about that cemetery across the street when you have a yard like this All right, so now we're gonna take you downstairs and actually on my way in I saw something really really nice check out this chandelier How nice is that? Okay, so at the bottom of the stairs, you can go left into the garage or go right into the living area. So we'll go right first. And that's some pretty nice carpet. That's really good there. Look, it's seamless. You can't even tell where they met the two together. Oh my gosh. So we'll probably just leave this. This will just become just for show. Now, sometimes we get asked to inspect these things and have them functioning. We don't do that right away. We only do it if it's requested from us in order to close the house. Uh, we will make sure it's safe and locked up and everything and we'll put a cap on the chimney uh, but we won't go all out with this because this can become very expensive there's another deck down here we won't go out there again i'll just kind of show it to you so rena doesn't you adjust it mm -hmm. oh this is nice and this deck comes right down in the yard 
Now, like, this stuff is what sells houses. People love big yards. <laughs> All right, now let's finish this tour up and show you guys the garage. Wait, what's that? This is where the washer and dryer hookup is right now. <sighs> I'm tired from running. <laughs> and another big plus with houses, especially now, is garages, but a two bay garage is extra great. All right, that's it. What do you guys think? Was this a good buy? You guys don't know because you don't know the market, but I'm telling you, it's a good buy. $55,000 all in, and that's with $10,000 in overage. So let's say we only put 45 into it. Pretty good margin if we can get that 165 asking price. All right, guys, let's head to the next house. Let's hope this doesn't break. Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's film this thing. All right, so we're over here at the second house. This is rustling. We purchased this for around $75,000. We're gonna put $115,000 into it. And that may surprise you when you see the inside, but keep in mind this has severe structural damage. So we have guessed above and beyond what we think it will cost just to be safe. And then our asking price on this house is gonna be around $225,000. We see structural damage a lot of times in West Virginia because of all the hills. And that's why a lot of these houses go to foreclosure because they can't sell them on the market because a bank won't lend on them unless the structure was fixed. And a lot of people don't have 15, 20, 40, $80,000 laying around in order to fix that, in order to sell it. So that's where we come in. When we get these houses from foreclosure, we have to fix it. All right, so we're actually filming that part and entered on the back side of the house because the front of the house kind of dips into a big front yard that just drops off the front. So that's why we started back here, but we entered into this kitchen right here and look, you might be able to keep something. These cabinets are in really good shape. Not a color we would go with, but they're in really good shape. And I'm sure, I haven't seen the plans yet, but I'm sure we will probably knock this down and probably do a different thing. Swing around here with me. We will probably utilize this wall instead. Uh, we will have to close up that window so that the cabinets can go here. But we'll probably utilize this wall instead and then open this entire area up over here. All right, so let's go into the main part of the house. So again, it's in decent condition, especially if y'all are used to seeing what we normally walk into. But the floors are in really great shape. The walls and ceilings are in good shape. Again, we'll probably have to paint. If you swing around over here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, it might be a little bright, but it's got this nice front porch out here or deck. And you can go out there and hang out and uh, that view and you can see, can you see the yard? Yeah. You can see where the yard just kind of goes straight down. And so that's why we filmed on the back side of the house. And then over here, you got a nice little dining room area. Um, so far, I'm liking this house. So our margins on this house aren't as big as normal, but that's because we knew this area will probably sell fast. This is a very, very nice area of South Charleston, and houses here don't last long. So our margins can be a little bit tighter because of the speed of the sale. All right, it's looking again like this is going to be three bedrooms, at least upstairs. Okay, so now we're at the hallway bath. I'm gonna turn my light on here. And it's already got a double sink, not a sink that we will keep, but it does already have the double vanity, which is nice. Um, it's a little bit narrow in here. You can see there's not much room between me and the wall uh, and the sink. This, this has seen better days. Um, in a house like this, we will probably tile this. Uh, we are in a nicer area, and when you get to nicer areas and I start asking more for your house, you got to start putting nicer finishes in. And one of those things is tile backsplash in your bathtub areas. It's very popular now, and I really suggest you look into doing that if you're not already. All right, so now we're back in the hallway, and we got actually three more bedrooms. So I'm going to assume that one of these is a master. Not this one. This is just another bedroom. No, not a master either. There might not be a master. There could be four rooms up here with no master, which would be really odd. Closet, front door. Again, another split entry. Like I said, very popular here. 
I hate split entry, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So this is the garage area, another two car garage. Again, fantastic. This will definitely help the resale. Now come here, let me show you something. Remember when I said this had a lot of structural damage? This is what we're talking about right here. So that entire hill behind the house is pushing in on the house. It has cracked the foundation all the way across. And this will continue through the house. Now, if you go into a house and they have walls up, if it's a completely finished basement, you might not see this. So sometimes you have to tear down drywall or tear down paneling to see behind it. If you do not know how to look for structural and you're buying houses on hills, be careful. Because if the inspector comes in here, if you sell it and then the inspector comes in here and they say, hey, you have structural damage. You could be in a lot of trouble. Let's say your margin was 20 grand on that sale and the structural is $25,000 to fix. What are you gonna do? So please educate yourself on how to check for structural damage. I know how to, kind of, but they don't rely on me. We rely on Steve for that. And again, that's a great reason for having partners. Okay, we're going here. So this is your HVAC room. One good thing is the HVAC looks updated. It looks to be in good condition there. The hot water tank, again, sizable, nice good size, and it's in good condition as well. And look, see, told you. See, it's gonna go all the way throughout the house. Look at this. And that's gonna cost us, we're estimating about forty to $50,000 to fix. So imagine if you bought this house and you bought with narrow margins, and then all of a sudden you figure this out after you've already closed on it, you're in trouble. You just probably lost on your first house. So please, please be careful when buying houses on hills. But houses in general, I'm not saying that only houses on hills get structural, I wanna make that clear. Any house can get structural, but it's more common if they're on a hill or have some type of dirt pushing on the foundation at some point around the house. What's that? You see? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, stop! You scared me. Alright, we got another bathroom down here, which is good. I thought this whole house only had one bathroom. I really wish the electric was working. Oh, look at this! A new vanity that's good. and top. We'll take it. We got some mold in here, but that's easily cleaned up. Yeah, it's a bathroom. <laughs> and more living areas. Oh, come here. So this is what I want to really show you. You're like, if you keep showing me structural, but it's very important. You can't tell. See, they have plaster up right here. So if the whole house was like this, the whole basement, if they didn't have a garage, you might come down here and be like, hey, wall well, looks fine to me. I don't see anything wrong. Well, come here and point the camera down that way. Here, facing me. I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but it's waving out. So you measure with a laser from the floor up. And you measure out up here, and you measure out down here, and don't quote me on this, again, they don't depend on me for this, but I think if it's more than an inch out, you have a problem. You're probably going to have to fix it. And so, that's it. I mean, I don't know what else you guys want to see in this house. Turn no. <laughs> this is just, <laughs> so good question, I guess. I'm laughing at my wife, I mean. She wants to know if this is from the structural. This is just from like probably mildew and there being too much moisture in the air and it's crippling the drop ceiling here. So this is just drop ceiling. I mean this nothing. I mean it's, it's all gonna come out anyway. So see, it made it all wavy. And that's just from moisture being in the air. We are in a basement. But once you're living here and you got the HVAC running, or if you have a dehumidifier, you won't have that problem. Ready? Thank you for the demonstration. This holds your wood. Hi, uh, that's what she said. Your, your flashlight's on in your phone. What's that have to do with anything? It's gonna I'm doing a presentation. Your phone's gonna die. All right, we good? That's it. Well, I don't know, ask your viewers. What else do you guys wanna see? I'm just trying to get YouTube famous and the algorithm's not helping. So you guys need to smash the thumbs up button. I know you didn't just do it, so do it. Right, right now. Right, right yeah, now. Yeah, we'll do it some more. No more? Go. Ah, boom! You're like not tall enough to get me in it. Are you in it now? Yep. It's your Let me focus on you. You don't need this anymore. Okay. There. Okay. I just wanted to be in the video.
I need her in the video. If I put her in the thumbnail, I get like 12,000 more views. If I'm just in the thumbnail, I get like two views or something like that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like walkthroughs like this, if you like just seeing more house stuff, let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. I can talk about anything that has to do with money. I love it that much, and I'll do it for you guys. Um, I'm just trying to educate the masses and also be entertaining. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.